welcome back to my channel it's your girl Delibia again so for today's video I'll be filming a tutorial on how I do my DIY hair butter at home that we use for our hair I say we because I also use it for my daughters as well it's been a couple of weeks that the last one got finished and I was like why don't I find time to film a new tutorial because a lot of you guys ask me what I use on my hair and my daughter's hairs as well so that is why I'll be sharing you this recipe you must not use everything that I'm using in this um, tutorial right now you can replace some products with the ones you truly love that works really well for you but this is what I use and you can add or subtract so welcome to my kitchen where i'll be filming this video today the girls are not at home so it's quiet i was like this is the best time for me to film this tutorial okay so you guys stay tuned make sure to subscribe if it's your first time seeing this face here my name is deli beer So items that I need for this video is my 100% African Shea Butter inside this container. I bought it in an African shop for 130 Swedish Krona right here. So it's the yellow Shea Butter. When you open it, it looks like this. Next, you have coconut oil, which is optional. Some people are allergic or don't love coconut oil, so you can remove this and replace it with any other oil that you love to use. And here we have aloe vera oil, which I absolutely love to use as well. And my Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil it is 100 percent pure right here i've used it so much that it's remaining only a little in the container i'm going to replace this next i have my olive oil which i also absolutely love i normally have the big container this is not the big one that I used to buy, I used to buy the organic one, but it's olive oil. Olive oil is olive oil. And these two right here are like essential oils that I'm going to be dropping in the mixture. This is my pure peppermint oil right here. And next you have my, you have the lavender oil. These are so amazing guys. They give extra flavor to the mixture and also very important for your hair and scalp also for hair growth and all so next we have an empty container like this which i'm going to be putting the final product inside and we also need A bowl a bowl and a tablespoon so we'll start by doing the mixture we'll start by collecting our shea butter normally I use this whole container I go for a whole year so and I normally take about three scoops like that of my tablespoons not particular measurement but this quantity will take us about three to four months before it will finish again so all you need to do is melt it inside warm water and this is the shea butter already melted so we are going to go in and start adding our oils so first off i start with olive oil i normally use the organic olive oil but it doesn't matter which one you have so olive oil has so many advantages on your hair from the very beginning i started my natural hair i read about it in 
articles that olive oil will prevent you from having dandruff itchy scalp your scalp will be so clean and it promotes shine and hair growth and all that so i always incorporate olive oil the next is my castor oil you guys know castor oil is good for hair growth if you have any breakage on your edges just by massaging castor oil daily twice a day it will help grow your hair so i also incorporate it into the mixture and you guys know aloe vera is a very healthy natural product so plant so i also add a tablespoon of my aloe vera right there it helps with growth it will stop hair loss and it will regrow the hair that has already damaged from your hair so now i'm adding my lavender oil which is, which is an essential oil these are so so useful for your hair they give you all the vitamins is it vitamins that your scalp or whatever it is that you need and the smell of it the flavor from the peppermint oil the cool sensation that it gives when you apply the final product on your hair these ones you don't put a whole tablespoon you can count the drops either five or ten drops but mine didn't come in a way that i can easily count so i just like estimate that can be about five to six drops so i'll close it and then i'll just mix everything up right now you're free to remove like i said earlier the ones you don't like like coconut oil some people are allergic to coconut oil or their hair doesn't like coconut oil you can freely remove this and add any other oil that you really like for your hair so i go in and add a couple of spoons for me the measurement doesn't matter but i know the quantity i have used for aloe the shea butter so i know okay i love my olive oil i put three tablespoons if you know you love um the aloe vera more anything you know your hair really accepts you can put as much as you can it doesn't have any particular Tactic. this is a DIY so I put it in the fridge or freezer for about 10 minutes for it to solidify a little bit not too hard and then I transfer it into this deep bowl guys if you don't have a whisper which I'm going to use in a minute you can do this mixture in a blender you can also blend it in a blender so right now i'm just scooping it up from this smaller bowl into this big bowl and i'm going to use my whisper right here to whisk it out mm? so i do this as many times as possible until it forms this creamy soft like so soft mixture and once i'm satisfied i transfer it into my final container the one i showed you from the beginning was too big i realized to get a good final um picture from the whole thing would be difficult so i transferred it into this smaller container look at the consistency look at how smooth and nice this is so for you to see how moisturizing this is i'm going to apply it at the back of my hand for you to see check out the glow the shine and everything this is how your scalp is going to look like when you apply it on it so normally i use this every wash day like when i wash my hair i make sure to apply it massage it on my scalp before extending it to my hair right to the ends and then i twist my hair this will remain moisturized the whole week or two if my hair is in that twist so subscribe and i love you guys for watching bye